Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Annalisa and this is Homemade Sunshine. So today I have a video for you guys, like I do every month, of my Kroger clearance grocery hauls. All the things that I find on clearance at my local Kroger grocery store. If you hear any noise in the background, that would be our kitten who is currently trying to fight my toes. You wanna say hi? Say hi. You say hi? So if you watched my meal planning video, you will know that we would named him Mr. Kitty, but turns out she's a lady. So she is Miss Kitty. So if you hear her crashing around, now it's because she's trying to play with the food on the floor. Yeah, I know. She's trying to fight my hands down here. No, thank you. Okay, there she goes. So first, starting in produce, I got some jalapeno halves for $2.19. Jalapenos aren't that expensive. It's not that hard to cut them up, but I was just feeling lazy and decided I'll just buy this gigantic thing of avocado. Uh, not of avocados, jalapenos. <laughs> and then there was a ton in our markdown, as they're now calling it, Peculiar Picks, um, with the 99 cent bag produce. I got a whole huge bag of limes. There are how many limes in here? Oh my gosh, I almost can't even count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 limes for a dollar which is a great deal. She is currently rustling bags over here. And then I got four bags of onions. So the only bad thing is it's sometimes hard to tell like what something is. So like say it's an orange and you can't tell what type of orange it is. You're just gonna be getting an orange because they take all the produce stickers off of these. So I got four bags of these because these don't even look, I'll pull one out. Like really don't even look like they're going bad. They just look like regular onions, so. They had tons of bags of these, so I just picked up four of them. I also got some mild guacamole for $2.79. This is super great to throw in with a meal. Very delicious. I got a little bit of ground beef on sale for $2.99. Just one of these tubes, easy to just toss in the freezer for when I need it. And then I got four of these. Oh, one of them's going to my mom. Well, actually two of them are going to her because we this was just such a great deal. They were 79 cents for some orange juice concentrate, frozen. So, I'll have to stick that in my freezer here shortly. And then, another freezer item, two boxes of Crunchy Fish Fillets, the Kroger brand, for $2.79. And they don't even go bad until December 30th of 2023. So, I'm gonna be for a while. She just tripped over the tripod, so if you saw that shake, that would be why. <laughs> She's a, she's a little nutcase. She's in her really playful mode right now. <laughs> I also got a dollar bag of tomatoes, which they're a little wrinkly, so I'll have to use them up quickly, but five for a dollar, killer. Great. And then, shelf stable wasn't so great today, but I got a 79 cent can of evaporated milk, so always a good deal, half off. I also got in, it's so hard, I always say the two hardest things to find in shelf stable when it comes to like hair care products or skin care products are conditioner and overnight moisturizer. So today I got one for me and one for my mom. They're two different versions. She's got Color Protect. I've got Dream Length Girls Moisture Seal. So two conditioners, each one was $1.50. They had a bunch of these, but we've never tried L'Oreal Alive. Um, I've tried their um, leave-in conditioner for curly hair and I really like that so I'm gonna give these a try and I believe that's it it was mostly just me getting multiples of the same thing like four bags of the onions four things of the orange juice concentrate um, two things of the fish so it was not very well stocked today because Tennessee for the month of August did um, no taxes on groceries so I think they got like wiped out the day before of everybody coming like for the last day of the month, because today's September 1st, of trying to get their last minute deals. So I believe that is why the store was so uh, decimated when I got there today. So I'm trying to shop on a new day Thursday to see, you know, deals are different, different days of the week and seeing, you know, a couple of different days of what kind of things I can find. So I'll see you guys next time. Hey y'all, another week, another Kroger haul. Um, please excuse the background sound because my kitten is wrestling with the grocery bags and she's also trying to trying to get into the meat. She can't get into it, so no worries there. I have a huge haul today. They had honestly an insane amount of stuff on sale. You won't even believe it. And stuff from like every category. 
One thing I didn't get that they had a ton of was diapers. Oh my gosh, because we don't have a, a baby. We don't need di any diapers. There was so many diapers of all sizes, like across the board. And it was mostly Pampers and Huggies, which, and some of the little swimmers. Oh my gosh, those little swim diapers. <laughs> what a good gift if you know somebody's having a baby in the summer and they have like a pool. But anyways, let's get started. So the freezer section was not very full today. I still did get a couple of things. They just hadn't restocked the discount stuff, but I did get two four cheese pizzas for $1.39 each, which we usually just add our own toppings to these. I hope she's not being too loud in the background. Hey! But otherwise she'd be biting my toes, so. I also got, I've never tried these, but these are Kodiak cake power waffles. Normally they're $6.50, which I would never pay that much for freezer waffles, that seems crazy but they were only $3.35. I thought that was fine. As long as it's half off, I'm good. I did get some Honey Nut Cheerios on sale for $2.29, the big box. If you've watched my videos before, it seems like I'm always getting Honey Nut Cheerios. They also had Fruity Pebbles and Cocoa Pebbles, but we don't eat those. And then I got a Kroger's brand of Rice Krispies. I feel like these are probably the same as the regular ones. I don't know though, but I will be making these probably into some Rice Krispie treats. Then I got a same as last week, some more kick and crab salad for $2.32 this time. I, I just love this stuff and it's so nice because I have to drive so far and I usually miss lunch to just come home and snack on that with some Ritz crackers. Next, this was at the checkout, which was crazy, um, in a big cart. They have been marking down a lot of their end of summer stuff, but they're not marking it down with a sticker. They're just like throwing in a cart and saying either half off or everything in this cart's a dollar, which sometimes you have to be careful of because people will throw in just random junk. But all of this rang up because I rang my own stuff up today so I could make sure and I could ask them to take it off if it wasn't a dollar. But all of these like Reese's cups, some Hershey's bars and some Kit Kats. And then I took a lot, you'll see <laughs> lots of them, but they don't go bad until, most of them until 523. So I'm going to be saving these for birthdays and stocking stuffers for the next few months. So I got one, two, three, four Reese's, four Kit Kats and two Hershey's. Cause I have more people that like Reese's than um, Hershey's and more than Kit Kats. So. All of those, and those are only a dollar. Normally, I think they're two, so I feel like that was a really good deal. I got, I had a coupon for this too, so it was even cheaper for $2.50, a Bright Farms Sunday Bacon Crunch Kit. I love, I love a good salad kit. I maybe it's because I'm lazy, but it's also it's really cheap to not have to also cook bacon and get cheddar cheese and sunflower seeds and crispy onions and make ranch dressing, which their ranch dressing is vegan, but. So there was, so my Kroger, you have to be really careful about them putting stuff that was out of date. So they had, I got some nuts next, but there was a lot of nuts that were really out of date, like July out of date. And I'm usually pretty hesitant about the expiration dates of things. She's just like going ham over here. But nuts are like something that like once it says best buy, like I will not buy it, so. But these don't go bad until, let me see. I know I saw it on one of these at least. Oh, June of 23 and January of 23. So some Kroger walnuts and some Kroger pecans. These were, pecans were more $4.59 and the walnuts were $3.29. So both of these were half off, which for holiday baking season coming up, I was just like totally going to get some of these. They had, this was most of the nuts they had that were actually like in date. They had some like pralines, they all went bad in July, and I was like, probably should just throw those out at this point, Kroger, but to each their own. I also got two bags of Hershey's semi-sweet chocolate chips. Each were $1.19, normally $2.44. Also for the impending baking season. I mean, these don't go bad until $3.23. So as long as you use this stuff up, I feel like by the holidays, you won't even have to bother looking. So I got some office supplies because we're always needing these. 
I got for $1.19 some invisible tape. Normally, well, it's normally only $1.99, but hey, any little bit of savings is better than nothing. And two things of packing tape, normally $5.49, was marked down to $3.29. Plenty good of a deal. Because it's something that I'm gonna already have to be buying more of, so I would rather just have the discount and just store it for a little bit. I sell stuff on Poshmark, so I'm always needing packing tape. You'll have probably seen this last week. I think it was in last week's video. I got some more pure vanilla for $5.99, normally $11.99. Doesn't go bad until December of 23, so perfectly fine with me. What? You want them to see you? She's batting at me. <laughs> Say hi. She says, Mama, why aren't you paying attention to me instead? Why are you doing a video when you could be loving on me? I know. She just wants attention. Yeah, I know. These are vitamins that my husband takes. They are one a day men's. These were $3.99. This is a smaller container. They're normally $7.99 though. So something that he already gets, it's nice to save money on. This was a really good deal. This red skin potato salad. I don't know how much this normally is, but it does go back to, well, it says sell by tomorrow. So I'll be eating this with my dinner tonight. But a dollar, I mean, if you had a family of four and everybody ate potato salad, this would be so easy to throw with your dinner. Then this was super awesome. This was a killer deal and I got all three packages that I could get. Um, but I got some Kroger hickory bacon. So one was 353, one was 305, and one was 340. I love butcher bacon. I love bacon in general, but I love bacon from the butcher. So I was like, I'm definitely picking that stuff up. And then last but not least, I got a caramel apple pudding cake half, which I will cut this up and freeze some of these pieces, but I'll have some tonight. So that was only $1.99. That is so cheap for a cake. So, so cheap. So. That is all of my deals this week. As you can see, there was a lot all across the board. Great deals. Very excited, very happy. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hey y'all, another week and some more Kroger discounts. If you hear any rustling in the background, that would be my kitten who has been investigating the groceries. So I went on a Tuesday this week, which is not my normal time because my mom came into town and we went grocery shopping together. So we both got some really good stuff, but I will show you my part of the haul today. So first, the peculiar picks section in the produce was hugely replenished while we were there. Normally it's just in like a three tiered shelf, but they had a huge grocery cart full of honestly, most any produce you could think of. So these are the things that I picked up. I picked up two bags of lemons, which these all for the most part feel like perfectly fine. I think they're just considered undersized. So two bags of these and then peculiar picks are the same as getting the produce reduced for a dollar when it used to be in the red bags so all of these were a dollar and then I got some all of these purple potatoes and then randomly one russet baking potato I don't really know why that was in there and then a little bag of apples very small apples um, and some of them have a couple of bruises but you can just cut those parts off for a dollar it's worth it and then another bag of potatoes, some baking potatoes and a couple of little yellow potatoes. And then one more bag of purple potatoes and a bag of red onions, which these red onions look great. There's five of them for a dollar. That is dirt, dirt cheap. And then I'm only gonna show one of these because I bought 10 but these are the Kroger mac and cheese for 29 cents, which they are normally 55 cents. So they're normally not that expensive anyways, but any little bit of savings helps. And this doesn't go bad until 2024. So we've got plenty of time to use all 10 of those up. I got some SpongeBob SquarePants Betty Crocker fruit snacks for my husband to try. He likes fruit snacks. And anytime I see some on sale, I pick them up. So $1.69, we'll hear his verdict if these are any good or not. And then my mom found this and she said, does Nathan like to eat these? And I was like, yes. So this is the club size of the Welch's fruit snacks. It's dented in, honestly, just barely up here on the top. 
but these were only $6.99 instead of normally being $13.99, which is so expensive. There's also a lot of boar's head on sale, but these are what I picked out. Was $5.30 for some uncured beef frankfurters. Right there, so some hot dogs, and there's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven in there. And then $6.99 for some traditional bacon, which these are just treats and some broccoli slaw I picked up for $1.99, which was already on my list. So glad to get that at a discount. Another pasta related item is I got some Mueller's pot sized spaghetti noodles for 59 cents a box. And I got four boxes of those. And then I got two cans of the French style green beans. Both of these were 50 cents each and some crushed peeled tomatoes for 40 cents. And then I had gotten two of these Kroger juices for $1.80 each, but I've already drank one. These are the citrus greens. It's not my all time favorite, but it's still pretty good. And then I picked up some Muir Glen organic diced tomatoes, fire roasted for $1.09. I like using the fire roasted tomatoes for um, a tomato soup that I make. I got some shredded Romano for $2.50, which this is more of a splurge, but I really like this on salads. And speaking of salads, the very dead last item is Simply Free Salads, which, I mean, haha, ha, it's not Simply Free. It was $2.99, but this is the Santa Fe one, but I'm gonna actually be having that for dinner tonight because I'm getting home a little bit late because we've been shopping and thrifting and finding all sorts of good deals, so. That is my haul for today, and I will see you guys next week. Bye. Hey y'all, another week, another Kroger haul. So I skipped last week's um, Kroger trip because I fell down the stairs and I am currently in a walking boot. So I just ate off of what we already had, fixed things that we already had to avoid having to go to the grocery store. So I went this week, got some good deals, not a ton, but this will be my last video for September. I feel like the month has like flown by, but let's get started. So first I got some family sized Rice Krispies for two, no, $3.29. So I can't believe how expensive cereal is normally. And I got two good cans, which were actually hilariously things that were already on my grocery list. Some simply, um, simple truth organic tomato sauce for 79 cents and some golden corn for 49 cents. So I always check the organic ones because I don't normally buy organic cans to see if it's still going to be cheaper than if I bought like the regular Kroger store brand and it was actually still 10 cents cheaper than if I bought the non-organic version full price. I also got some loose leaf tea for $1.59. It's cranberry blood orange, black loose leaf tea. I like loose leaf tea and I love getting tea on sale because it's kind of like a splurge item anyways. So oh, my cat's trying to lick this already. I got for $4.28, so it was originally $6.59, so not a huge saving, but some cube steak. But hey, whatever we can save is better than nothing. I also picked up some Derma Geek Nourishing Facial Night Cream. I've never tried this before, but it's $6.59 which is so expensive. Facial stuff so expensive, but I ran out of my night cream, so this is what was on sale, so that's what I got. And then, of course, my cat's already sniffing this. I got three of these on sale. Some Iams Perfect Portions Healthy Adult for $6.50, and there are 24 servings, 12 twin packs. So I thought this was a great deal. I got three boxes of those, and considering she's already sniffing them, I bet she's gonna like them. Then I got some a Simply Fresh salad, the ultimate BLT salad with chicken to eat as soon as I'm done filming this because I am starving. And then I got one more tea product, a Teavana Beach Bellini with pieces of pineapple and mango for $1.89. I know, I don't know if it still is, but I haven't been to Starbucks in years because I don't drink coffee. But I think this is the tea that they serve there. So very excited about that. And then for $2.99, I got this three pound box of grapes. 
which even if these start to go bad, I'll just freeze them because I love, 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 love frozen grapes. So that is my little haul for this week. Hopefully October will be, um, I don't want to say better, but maybe just some different stuff. Still though, I think I got plenty of super awesome stuff to be able to get kitten food was great. To be able to get an overnight moisturizer was awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up if you like watching these kind of Kroger discount hauls with me and consider subscribing because I do these every month and leave a comment down below. What is your favorite thing to find on sale at the grocery store? Even if you don't have a Kroger, what is your favorite thing to find on sale? So I will see you guys next time. Bye.